Mastering the art of entering or exiting a trade requires precision to minimize errors and ensure seamless order placement. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps of placing orders within the Trader Workstation platform. By the end of this, you'll be equipped to trade with confidence in TWS. So let's start trading. Okay, so before I get started placing orders, I just wanna point out that Trader Workstation has many different places where you can actually place your order. Whether it's in the order entry window, on your charts, or in your portfolio, there are a lot of places where you can place your orders and adjust your orders. So today, I'm gonna to cover the order entry window and the charts, but you'll notice as you get familiar with the platform that there are other places where you can also place your orders. So to get started, let's go up to this order entry window up here on the upper left-hand side. So you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, we have AMD as the stock that we are watching currently. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch that to Amazon. So you'll notice when I switch to Amazon, everything else on my screen also switches to Amazon. That's because they are all linked with this green chain link in the upper right-hand corner. Now, when I'm ready to place an order on Amazon, I'm going to decide whether I want to buy or sell. In the lower left-hand corner is where we make that decision. So let's say I decide I want to buy Amazon. I'll go ahead and click buy. And you'll notice that the order entry window turns blue. Well, let's say I decide I would rather sell. So I click sell and this order entry window turns red. This color correspondence can be great if you're a visual person and you wanna make sure that you are taking the correct position. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to buy, and I'm gonna move over here to the center of this order entry window. Now in the upper middle portion of this order entry window, we have the bid and the ask. You'll notice that the price above the ask right now is currently 157.33, and the price above the bid right now is 157.32. Below that, we have the quantity of how many shares we're looking to take. Trader Workstation will automatically put in 100 shares when you load a new window. Below that, I can see how much capital I would be using for this position. So for 100 shares of Amazon, I would be using roughly $15.7,000. Let's say I wanna change the quantity of shares. So if I click this box right here, I will get this pop-up window. Now in this pop-up window, I can choose from any amount of shares on here, but what you'll notice is that they are in increments of 10 or 100. Let's say I would rather do something like 125. What I wanna do is click in this field, delete the 100 and type in 125 and press enter. Now we have a quantity of 125 and you'll notice the estimate of capital below that is $19.6,000. To the right of that, we have the order type. Right now, this is set for a limit order. If I hit this drop down, however, I can switch it to a market order. And if I hit this arrow at the bottom, it will expand this drop down so that I could set things like a stop limit order or a trailing order. For now, we'll leave it on limit. Next to that, we have the limit order price. Right now, it's telling us we wish to purchase Amazon at $157.29. But let's say I see a level down near 155 that if it dips down to and retests, I wanna get in at. So similar to the quantity of shares, I can click on this limit order price. Again, just like the shares, I can adjust this to anything that pops up in this window, or I can adjust it myself manually. Because we're interested in 155 and I don't see 155 anywhere on this list, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the limit order price and type in 155 and press enter. Next to that, we have the time in force. This means how long you want your order to stay on the market. Right now, this is saying we wish to have this order sitting on the market just for today. If we hit this drop down, we can now change it to GTC or good till canceled, meaning your order will remain on the market until you cancel it yourself. If you'd like your order filled outside of regular trading hours or RTH, then this box needs to be checkmarked. We'll leave it on day for now, and we'll come back to this advanced tab here. So now we have a buy order for Amazon with a quantity of 125 shares at a limit price of $155 and this order is good for today. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. When I hit submit, I'll get this pop-up. This pop-up is basically just giving me the details of the order. Trader Workstation will always give you a pop-up when you place an order, unless you check this box here that says don't display this message again. For now, I'm gonna leave it and we're gonna hit transmit. So now in my activity window, under my orders tab, I can see that I have an order sitting on the market for Amazon as a buy with a limit order of 155. I can also see that I have a quantity of 125 shares with zero being filled yet. And I can see that this order is good for today. Now, until this order gets filled, I have the ability to adjust it and change it as many times as I want. 
So let's say I decide I don't want 125 shares, I actually only want 100. If I click on this quantity section here, I can change the amount of shares in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 100. And then what you'll notice is this becomes highlighted with an update button. For this to change, I need to make sure I hit the update button. I could also do this with the limit price. So right now I have a limit order of 155. Let's say I wanna go ahead and actually get in at a little bit of a lower price. So I'm gonna change this to 150. Same thing, the order becomes highlighted and now I have to update it. Now let's say I wanna change my order type. I can do that here. And I also have the ability to change this from a buy to a sell or a reverse position. Now let's say I wanna adjust the order type. So let's say I place this order and then I decide I wanna add a stop loss to it. What I can do is I can go to this little drop down here under details and under here I can click attach stop loss, profit taker or bracket. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign on this. And under here is where I can place my stop loss. So my limit order is at 150. Now let's say I wanna take a stop loss if it drops $5 below that. So I'm gonna place a stop loss at 145. So I'm gonna click this box here, stop loss, and I'm gonna change the stop loss price to 145. And we'll keep time and force the same. And then I'm gonna hit update. Similar to before, we get a pop-up notice and we can just submit it. So now you'll see down here in the orders tab, we have the Amazon buy order with the stop loss attached to it. So we have a buy order for 150 and a stop loss for 145. Both of these are for 100 shares. Now, if you've noticed up here on the chart, once I place my orders, you can actually see them on the chart. So I can see my buy limit order sitting here and I can see my sell order sitting here. So let's say that I decide I don't want these on here anymore. I can either cancel them from the chart where it says CXL or I can cancel them from down here in my order window. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cancel the stop loss. And you'll notice how it leaves my chart. It's out of the order window and it's out of the chart. One other thing you can do on the chart is that if you wanna move your order around, you can actually click and drag the order. So notice how I'm clicking on this and I'm just moving it around and then it gets updated. Now to the right, I have the advanced chart. And similar to the standard chart, the order will also show up on this chart here. To cancel an order on this chart, you can just hit the X. And similar to the other chart, if I wanna move this around, I can just click on it and I can drag it. Now let's say that we've decided we don't wanna wait around and we just want this order to get filled. I'm gonna go ahead and just change this limit price to a market price, and I'm gonna hit update. This order has now been filled. So I can see in the orders tab here that I had Amazon at a buy at a market order with 100 shares and my fill price was 157.35, or the current price that it's sitting at, as we can see up here in the order entry window. You can now see in the portfolio that we own 100 shares of Amazon. So now let's say I wanna close the position. To do that, I can either go up to this order entry window and if I'm on a different stock, I need to make sure I go back to Amazon and switch it to what it needs to be at, or I can come down here to my portfolio. Now, while in my portfolio, I can right click on my position and what you'll notice is at the top of this dropdown, it says buy, sell, or close. I wanna close the position, so I'm gonna hit close. And what that's gonna do is it's going to automatically populate this order entry window into a close position. So since we bought, we'd now be selling. My quantity of shares is 100. It will automatically put that amount in there. And I now have the option to choose whether or not I want to sell it on a limit price or sell it on a market order. Let's say I just quickly wanna get out of this position. So I'm gonna switch it to a market order and I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. I'm gonna hit transmit. And you'll notice that the sell order of Amazon was filled on a market price of approximately 157.12. And if I look over in my portfolio, I can now see that I no longer have a position in Amazon and that this is showing zero shares. Now let's say I wanna place an order from the very beginning that automatically has a stop and a profit taker attached to it. I don't necessarily need to place the order and then come down to the orders window and add it later. I can do it from the beginning. So we'll do this order again on Amazon, but adding the profit taker and the stop loss. So I'll come up here to my order entry window and I'll choose how many shares I want. So we'll stick with 100 for now, and I'll choose my limit price. So let's say I want my limit to be at 156, and again, we'll do it for the same day. Now, if I hit this plus sign here, I get a drop down that's similar to what we saw when we were in the activity window under the orders tab previously. So here, I can press this plus sign next to attach stop loss, profit taker bracket, and from here, I can add both a stop loss and a profit taker. So let's say I'm getting in at 156, I wanna take profit at 160, and I wanna get out if it goes down to 153. So now I'll hit submit, and you'll notice at the top of the order entry window, it says order entry plus bracket. Then in this pop-up, it tells you everything you're about to do with your order, and you can hit transmit. 
Now, Trader Workstation loves to send pop-ups. This pop-up right here is alerting you of their price management algo system. And it's asking you if you want to use their algo to automatically manage your price when needed to avoid a rejection in your order. It's up to you whether you want to use it or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, do not use. Now down in the orders tab, you'll see that our order is sitting there with an Amazon limit buy order of 156, a profit taker of 160, and a stop loss of 153. And you can also see on the chart that they are all sitting out there. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this order. And what you'll notice is when I cancel the buy order, the profit taker and stop loss get canceled alongside it. Now, another area to place orders on Trader Workstation is directly in the chart. So if I go up to the standard chart here and I click buy, once I hover my mouse over the chart, I'll get this blue dotted line. Now, wherever I click the blue dotted line is where it's gonna place my order. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click it right here. And now you'll notice down at the bottom, it has my buy limit order at the price that I clicked at and it says transmit. So if I wanna place this order, I have to click transmit. And if I wanna cancel it, I can cancel it directly on the chart. But let's say that I don't have this order window on my screen. Let's say that I just have a screen that's full of charts. If that's the case, I can go up to view and I can go down to chart trader and select that. This will add an activity window to the bottom of my chart. So similar to what you're seeing down here, I now have that attached to my chart. And from here, I can transmit the order and I can adjust the order exactly like I can down in this orders window here. And similar to buy, if I wanna sell, I can just hit the sell button and it will bring up this red dotted line and I can click where I want to sell the stock. And now you'll see that that order is sitting down here in the activity window, as well as in the order section that's attached to the chart. The order section that's attached to the chart has these up and down arrows on the left-hand side. If I no longer wanna see it, I can just hit this down arrow and it will go away. If I wanna bring it back, I can hit the up arrow and it will bring back the order window here. Similar to the standard chart, the advanced charting system has the same type of feature. So you'll notice when I hover over this chart, I get a plus sign to the right. So let's say if I hover over 152 or somewhere in that area, if I hit the plus sign, it will bring up this box that says, do you wanna buy Amazon at 151.90 or do you wanna sell Amazon at 151.90? I'm gonna go ahead and hit buy and I'm gonna hit yes. And now you'll notice that order is now down here in this order window. 151.90 is sitting right here. I can see it in this order window and I can see it in this order window. If I wanna adjust it, same thing, I can do it in here. I can also, again, click and drag on my chart. And when I'm ready to transmit an order or update an order that's already been filled, I just need to go down here to this button and hit transmit. Or in the case of an update, hit update. Now, another thing to know is that like anything in Trader Workstation, things are very customizable. So both the order entry window and the activity window can be customized. So if I hit this settings wheel up here in the upper right hand corner of the order entry window, and I go to settings, it will bring up this page here. Now currently our order entry window is set for interactive, but you can also change this to a simplified version or a rapid transmit, meaning that if you click buy or sell, it's going to buy or sell the position. And you can also change the font size. So let's go ahead and just switch to one of these here. I'll change it to rapid transmit. I'll hit apply and then I'll hit okay. And you'll notice that the order entry window did change. Now, same thing down here. I can hit the settings wheel and go to settings. And now what you'll notice is this is showing me what columns are listed under the orders tab. So if you look over here, I have the orders tab clicked on. And then underneath that, we have the financial instrument, the price and all of those other things. So right now, these are the things that are listed under there and they each have their own column. But I can get rid of the ones that I don't use or I can add other ones to here. So you'll see that we have a selection of other things that we can choose from. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now, but you can customize it to your own liking. So let's go ahead and transmit all of these orders. And as you can see, they're now all out there ready to be filled. Once they get filled, they'll end up in my portfolio. And from my portfolio, I can either add more into the position or take the position off. And that is a basic overview of placing orders within Trader Workstation. If you have questions as you are starting to place orders, drop us a comment and we would be happy to help you out.